Since passwords are often not enough to protect an account, adding additional steps to authentication can offer better security. Two-factor authentication, or multi-factor authentication, is a blanket term for a security feature which requires you as a user to input both something you know, like a password, with something you have, like an ID or security key, or even something you are, like a fingerprint or a retina scan. Two-factor authentication is not a new idea. Every time you withdraw money from an ATM, you are required to combine something you have, your bank card, with something you know, your PIN. Because of this, even if your physical bank card is stolen, the potential attacker would still need to know your PIN to remove any of your money. Most websites today provide an optional form of two-factor authentication, typically either through an authentication cookie stored on your device or through single-use codes that you enter after your password. The most common way two-factor authentication is implemented is directly through the website you are using. A website might ask to embed a cookie onto the specific device you want to authorize, and only that device will be a valid login location. Or, a website might send you a text message with a one-time access code when you try to log on. However, these methods require that the website stores your phone number as well as your password. Another option would be to use third-party apps that generate a security key when you try to log on to any website that is compatible. This way, the app is the only place where your additional information is stored, but you may not be able to use it for all of your accounts. Some devices now even use biometrics, which is the use of your unique physical characteristics as a security tool. Many cell phones are starting to use fingerprint scans as a way to prevent unwanted access. These fingerprint scanners are effective in keeping out distant threats, but be aware that the fingerprints that you leave on your phone screen have the ability to be replicated by a thief if they have the right resources. Using two-factor authentication makes it much, much harder for a hacker to gain access to your account, since they need to both guess your password and compromise your second security factor. Two-factor authentication does not come without some drawbacks. While it makes it more challenging for a hacker to potentially compromise your account, it is also less convenient for you to log on. You also have to have access to whatever authorized device has your second layer of protection. If your phone is dead or you don't have it on you, the website will not allow you access. If your device is lost or broken, it can become very tricky to reset your account. Some apps counteract this by allowing you to print off a backup code to keep in your wallet in case of emergencies. Two-factor authentication is just one method to strengthen the security of your accounts, and is not a completely foolproof solution. However, two-factor authentication makes it impossible for anyone to access your account without the combination of your online password and offline verification tool, whether that is a fingerprint, security code, or physical ID.